The other part of detailing that we need to look at to create our reflected ceiling plan is understanding the heights. Now, what are we looking at? These are our ceilings. And so this is a ceiling shelf and we could change the height of this if we want to. So let's make these ones here to be 2400 high above our ground level. And this is a label. And so this is a label tool again with auto text. And in this case, it's the elevation label. And when we go into the elevation label settings, what we're seeing under the symbol label custom settings is it's based on, we could either have the top elevation of or the top surface of or the bottom surface of. And so what I'm choosing here is the entire element rather than the core. If I'm choosing the entire element, I will call that FCL, meaning finished ceiling level. Or if I want to make that based on the core, I'll call that SCL, structural ceiling level. So this is the, the prefix that I'm adding to it, FCL, and then that's the number. So that's determined by the height of this project zero. So we can choose this click on the surface, wait till it turns blue, click, and that will auto define the height. So again, what are we doing? We're creating custom, well, we're creating auto referenced annotations, which can then be created on our overall reflected ceiling plan and can be mirrored or added into our 2D representation, which is a detail. The only thing we need to be thoughtful of is when we create a detail marker, we must make sure that we get rid of. We unselect this copy construction elements only because otherwise it's only going to show the 3D things and it's going to not show the 2D things like these labels. Then we need to make sure this is on the right layer. So this is currently on a layer called Overlay RCP. Is that visible? Well maybe it is but maybe we want to hide that. So what we need to do is make sure that this goes on to a layer that's going to be visible in our detailed RCP. So that will hide that from here but then when we go to our detailed view, which we've saved under our detail. So that's our ensuite RCP. What do we need to do? We need to update this again, rebuild from source view. And now we see that we've added in. So what is it? It's turned to text, but it's actually referenced. It's our reference label, which again, if we were to change those, so if we go back quickly and change that reflected ceiling plan. So if we now change these to 2100 again, now technically we should maybe turn on everything, there's too much to see here and we'll redefine or redefine these saved views. Now if we go back to our reflected ceiling plan, it's not going to be visible because we hit it, but then when we go back down to our detail, reflected ceiling plan, rebuild, then we can see that this one, even though again it's back to being exploded, has now updated to be the same as our other space. What are we seeing here? We've got to double up. This was the text that we created. We can now delete that text because we can see that the label is now replacing it, which is what we wanted to do. So this is how we add the two-dimensional detailing. We have to decide do we want to add the two-dimensional detailing in our two, let's change this, in our, in our exploded detail, our source referenced detailed, tooled detail, or do we add all of our annotation or some of our annotation into our BIM modeled drawings so that they're referenced and continue to be referenced even once we create a detail model of those.